Hey guys, today I thought I would do a little video on some of my favorite jeans. I have the 305 and the 309 from the Flathead, and uh, I'll start with these ones. So these are the 305s. They're a uh, loose, pretty loose fit, and there's not really any taper to them, and they have like a pretty narrow waist compared to the thighs, which works really well for someone like me that has big thighs. I've worn them for a few months now, pretty much every day, and washed like every two weeks. So that they don't end up too like hyper faded like you would see some jeans. These are definitely my favorite jeans that I've ever had so far. And I've had some Roy's, Flatheads, Iron Hearts. But uh, these are really good because they're 14.5 ounces pre-soak. So they're not like super heavy or anything. They're not going to restrict movement in any way. So my favorite details are that the belt loops. They're like rolled belt loops, so that means that they're going to be really abraded, like right on the front here. So this is going to be really a lot lighter eventually than like the sides, which looks pretty cool. They have pure copper rivets. There's no plating or anything, so these are going to oxidize. And they're already kind of oxidizing, as you can see here. There's the selvage and the coin pocket. Uh, what else is there? There's the iron buttons again pure iron so it feels super good in the hand it doesn't feel flimsy or anything as you definitely would not expect from this brand it's all cotton stitching which has been is known for not holding up very well compared to poly cotton it's known for being more like historically accurate but it's holding up really damn well on this pair to be honest let's look at the back okay so these are classic flathead arcs nothing crazy personally my favorite arcs i think they as you can see they're pretty levi's inspired but I really like the detail on them. You know, this part looks pretty cool. I like them a lot more than the overseas arcs. These are the domestic arcs, which are more Levi's-esque than you would get here in the United States because of patents and whatnot. Uh, here's a good example of the rolled belt loop after it's been more faded. So this is the back. The yoke is pretty faded-ish now. I know some people don't like how it looks right in between the stitches here, but I personally like really love it. It's kind of bumpy just from how it was completely smooth before you like you know soak it or anything but after you wash it it shrinks like a buttload and uh it makes it kind of pucker over here which i really really like it's one of my favorite details on jeans actually and uh here on the top pocket it's really thick again stitched here so that's why it looks a lot lighter there which again i really like uh usually the cotton stitching really does not hold up very well but even though you can see right here it's kind of going i've had these for like five months like i said and this is like the only problem but it looks pretty cool to me, and uh, I don't know why, but these are just holding up really well compared to what I would usually expect from my other pair of jeans that I have here with me. You can see the patch is natural. It's uh, get it's looking older. The black is from my HTC belt that I wear now. Uh, maybe I prefer that I didn't do the black thing on top. I think it would be nicer if it was natural on the inside of the belt. But it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's just a belt, or it's just the... Uh, patch it's pretty much supposed to get worn and whatnot yeah i'm really excited to wearing these in and um why don't we look skip through time and see what they'll look like in a few months so these are my 309s i got them before the ones i have now and as you can see they're more worn they had a similar washing regimen more than you would expect for a pair of uh, like raw denim and definitely more than most people wash their flatheads which is like never which is weird because I really didn't want them to be very uh, contrasty. But I think I washed these actually like more, or, sorry, less often than the other ones. So they're a little more contrasty. So these are really just more exaggerated everything I said before. So these are the same exact jeans, but the cut. So you can see these are the copper rivets. They're oxidizing more, as you'd expect. Uh, belt loops, same thing. They're rolled really nice. It's like thicker in the middle. Iron buttons. This is where it starts, where the cotton stitching starts to not hold up very well. On these pair of jeans, like, they're getting really messed up really fast. I liked it because I like how it looks, but it's, like, kind of surprising. Especially now that I have the same exact jeans, basically, in a looser cut. I don't know if it's just the cut that made it, you know, not age as fast, but here we can see. Put a hole through that thing. They're definitely more worn, but I feel like they're not super worn more than my 305s to warrant how much different they look. Like, in terms of uh, structural integrity. So, yeah, there's a hole here, and then this, this actually was, like, completely off, so I got a sewing machine, and I just, you know, stitched it, 
with the color with the thread that's like surprisingly close to what the actual thread is it like doesn't look any different to me and usually i'm pretty anal about that so it looks really good the arcs are disintegrating uh they're not disintegrating on my other pair as you saw before the yoke it's even more faded this time this is like super white which like i said i think looks super cool and it'll look even better because at a certain point this is going to stop getting like as white as it is but the sides are going to definitely have more to go like color wise so i think it's going to like blend in more so it's not gonna be as like contrasty here's the patch this one i must have not worn my belt as much because uh as you can see the black is like not as prominent but the patch looks super good natural really nice and soft what else is there okay so basically the difference in this between these and the other ones i think these are more worn is that 309 is the straight tapered cut so relatively loose thighs for a lot of jeans but like the hem is pretty like narrow like a lot of people like and then the 305s it's like looser like a slightly looser thigh actually one time i measured it and the thigh was like bigger on these but the thigh is i think slightly looser feels slightly looser but like the motility is like way way greater in uh in the 305s like it's so much easier because there's like zero taper and i didn't realize this before but like taper makes a huge difference in how jeans feel if you have like zero taper in your jeans even you could have a smaller thigh than a pair that's like heavily tapered the ones with no taper are going to be like infinitely more comfortable so that's what i like now i don't like any taper anymore but these are really really great pair and uh they're a little slim on me now but they still fit i gotta get them repaired but i think if i ever wanted a pair of slim jeans these are definitely the ones i would wear i don't think i'm gonna buy anymore you know they're the exact same denim as the 305s it's such a good denim that i was like happy enough to after working on these for six months just bought the other ones and the better cut i liked and then did that and i'm like not bored at all so that says a lot because usually i'm pretty picky about it so one thing i want to talk about was uh oh, as you can see train tracks they're even better on the 305s because i washed the 305s more and like more aggressively i wash my jeans on hot like really hot as hot as my washer can get and in the united states uh washers are pretty gnarly they like like it's stuck to the sides after i do it and so usually that's like sacrilege in the world of denim but it really doesn't, I did not notice anything. I've heard of people getting, like, streaks on their jeans or whatever, but that's never, ever happened to me, and I hope it doesn't, because that would kind of suck, but if you just wash them, it'd probably go away anyway. So when, what I want to talk about is the roping. So these ones have never been hemmed, or, yeah, these have never been hemmed. So this is the factory. This is the roping you'll get if you just get them, wash them a lot from the factory. It looks pretty great. Something that I didn't notice before that I notice all the time now, I can't get past, and it makes hemming jeans more of a bitch than it already is, because you got to find a... A chain stitching machine is that like the thickness of the hem in my opinion matters a lot like how your jeans look and how they rope so if you can see the roping is like pretty uh diagonal like what you would want what you would expect from a pair of jeans uh it's pretty narrow and uh right here i actually have another pair of my first pair of jeans nice jeans are iron hearts and i got these hemmed at self edge los angeles and they use a chain stitching machine as like you would expect they do because they're like the denim kings of the United States but uh and keep in mind that this is also a different denim so it's not gonna look exactly the same personally I think flatheads look better so keep that in mind but you can see that the roping is like pretty damn thick and the chain and the and the folding is like pretty damn thick so here compare it you can see that the roping in the flatheads is a lot more it's like a lot tighter it's like a lot denser Whereas these ones are a little more vertical and uh, they're not, they're like more spaced out. Like there's less ropes, I guess, per inch. Personally, I think this looks a lot better, but these are iron hearts and uh, that also makes them look different. And I think, you know, these shrink a shitload, so maybe that also contributes to roping more. But yeah, it's something that I think about now. Iron hearts are also a good pair of jeans. I may or may not do a video on them because I'm not as stoked on them as I used to be. So I like talking about these ones a lot more. In my opinion, Iron Hearts are like really good if you're not super concerned with how your denim ages and you just like how it feels. Because they feel really nice and like supple and thick and uh, that's originally what drew me to them. It was having a lot of shitty denim, as most people have. And I was like, whoa, thick jeans that are comfortable, that sounds cool. So they definitely are thick jeans that are comfortable. These ones are also super comfortable, but they're noticeably thinner. They feel more like an old pair of jeans or how I would imagine an old pair of jeans would feel because I don't have any personally. But these are definitely more my speed now. But